it's absolutely the right way to go. Uh, Christchurch Civic Trust, Chris Kisling. Welcome. Thank you, Leanne and councillors, uh, for this opportunity. Um, the Christchurch, I'm Christopher Kisling, has uh, been introduced. I'm the chair of the Christchurch Civic Trust. The Christchurch Civic Trust made submissions on the draft annual plan in three areas. The first of those was the Nurses Memorial Chapel, the second was on the Botanic Gardens, and the third was on Hagley Oval. Now, in terms of the Nurses Memorial Chapel, the main thrust of our submission on that topic was to ensure that the budget provisions it's made for the rest restoration to proceed and the project to be completed within the 2017-18 period in completion in time for the 1918 commemorations. And it's nice to have heard that uh, the administrative error has been corrected and, and this is now back on track. So we want to be, uh, say that we are fully support the council proceeding to make sure the restoration of this heritage gem is completed expeditiously. Uh, thank you very much on that score. On the Botanic Gardens, at a recent deputation we made to the Christchurch City Council on the spatial plan for the Botanic Gardens, we were asked at that time if we would be making a submission on the draft annual plan, and we have. The thrust of our submission is that the Council makes adequate budget provision to re-establish the former high maintenance and presentation standards of the Botanic Gardens <coughs> as, <coughs> as the highest priority for spending ratepayer money on this very important public facility to ensure that it receives many visitors who praise it. We have a Botanic Gardens containing many important species However, the presentation standards have declined when compared with the past and importantly when compared with other world-class botanic gardens. We asked for but we have not received the information on the levels of employment in various categories necessary to achieve the primary objective of looking after what is already in the place in the botanic gardens before embarking on the various projects that might further enhance the botanic gardens. Some projects we say are not necessary, such as upgrading the children's play facilities, given that now the new Margaret May family playground has been built in the central city. We do support the research and educational thrust which requires skilled personnel. When looking at the draft annual plan, we find it difficult to, uh, to get indication of what provision is made for personnel for the Botanic Gardens. Funds for capital works like access bridges is one thing, but it takes more than physical structures to make the botanic gardens a must-see place. So really asking the question, by what measures does the City Council propose to monitor the adequacy of funding for the people's skills needed to ensure the maintenance of world-class botanic gardens in Christchurch? Certainly we do not expect to see weed infestations or rose gardens with rampant black spot in the public domain in this garden city. And then uh, the third item, Hagley Oval, and I'm aware that there are others also presenting on, on this uh, later today who will contain a lot more detailed information than I'm providing. But we wonder whether there is a contractual undertaking for the expenditure being made and continuing to be made on Hagley Oval especially as assurances were made by Canterbury Cricket that it would not be asking for more money. The ground had to be developed for the Cricket World Cup. Now we have further reshaping of the embankment and provision of foundations for camera towers. What's next? ID number 34328 in the Council's draft annual plan <coughs> shows this specific facility gobbles up nearly double the amount to be allocated for other activities, some receiving nothing, which hardly seems fair or reasonable. Commercial cricket at this arena generates significant income, but that income appears to vanish elsewhere 
and does not make a substantive contribution to the enhancement of the grounds and surrounds or their upkeep, which is left for the ratepayer to cover. It appears to us that it's a sweetheart deal for Canterbury cricket and New Zealand cricket. When compared with the financial arrangements entered into by other councils in New Zealand, such as the Bay Oval at Mount Monganui, the Christchurch City Council would appear to be exceedingly generous with ratepayer incomes, monies. It is time for greater transparency regarding the funding relationship between this City Council and the beneficiaries, beneficiaries of the uh, facilities at Hagley Oval. And uh, the Civic Trust endorses the information that's going to be presented to you by Lindsay Carswell later today. Thank you. Questions? Any questions? Uh, Glenn? Okay, thank you. Just on Hagley then. So transparency, <coughs> the ability to see. So if, if you're uh, looking at the council's accounts, can you tell me what you can see about Hagley? O no. How can I... Um, I'm just trying to find another way to say it or ask it. Um, I mean, do those figures, you know, are they easily, do you find them easily access, accessible in the? No, the short answer is no. Okay. But some homework's been done by others and they've dug and found. Okay. But it's not easy. All right. General citizen wouldn't find it very easy. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, look, thank you very much. And um, obviously there's uh, some work to be done in terms of the um, Botanic Gardens, but I think there's general view around the table that we need to make sure that we have a world-class facility. Um, it's, you know, the heart of our city, really. Keeps and us we've, alive. we've saved three and a half minutes. Okay, thank you very much. Well, that's very ideal because we do have a break for afternoon tea. Um, <coughs> and I'm not sure if the next submitter is here yet. Yes, the next two are they outside? Okay. Central City Business Association. Um, they're outside. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought they weren't here. Well, that means we've only got five minutes, team. Sorry, because we've got to be back here at three twenty, and it is three nineteen. So.